What's up guys, Jake from MacKite. Today I'm gonna go over how to assemble the Slingshot Hover Glide Foil. So your foil's gonna come in this really nice little carrying case. Um, when it's put together, it's gonna be far larger than this, but for travel purposes or storage, this works great. So we're gonna go ahead, open this up. So this is a two zippered system, so it's really, really easy. We open it up and we have everything we need. Um, this pouch up here is gonna be your front wing. Um, we've got our mast, our fuselage, our rear wing. Um, we got some screws, some tape, and our mast plate. So let's get in and start assembling. So we'll start here with the mast plate. There's no particular order you need to do anything. Um, however, if you do open up the mast plate, you have a little quick start guide right here. Um, a little link to Slingshot Spoil Academy with all sorts of tips there. Um, so that is helpful information. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build the mast. We'll open up our mast pouch and we have the 71 centimeter mast, which is gonna be a 28 inch mast. Um, this is a really great size for pumping. Um, use behind the boat, behind the kite. Um, we really like this size. Um, a little call out right here. Um, when you put on the top plate, you want this to be facing this way right here. Um, if you're reading the text upside down, you're assembling it upside down. Easy call out. You're gonna go ahead, slip this right on the top. Now we're gonna go in and we're going to get our hardware. We've got some grease and some Teflon tape here. We've got our little pouch of screws. We've got the Allen keys that we're gonna need for assembly. We've got our shim, which we'll use later. We have a little mask cap here that we'll get into later as well. Um, so as you are assembling your foil, you are gonna wanna tape your screws. Again, this is included. Um, they give you grease as well. Both will work if you're going to leave your foil assembled for a longer period of time. Um, we might recommend using the grease. Uh, it's just messier and it will slow down your foil a little bit if it leaves the cavity space. Um, so tape works really well. Um, as you tape your screws, we won't go over and tape all the screws in the video for the sake of brevity, um, but just make sure to run the tape opposite um, the direction you're actually threading your screw in so it doesn't come off as you're putting it on and you'll be in business. You will want to make sure every couple sessions to disassemble your foil um, that's going to allow you to clean it out, get the salt out of there, um, get the sand, retape the screws as necessary. Um, these can seize up if you don't assemble or disassemble on a regular basis. So make sure to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach the mast plate to the mast. If you need to consult which hardware you need, you can go ahead and access your quick start guide right here and it's gonna break down all the pieces of hardware, what tools you're using. Um, and again, everything is included that you need. Um, so this is going to require the M8 by 40 millimeter bolt, bolts. Um, you will notice it requires an M8 by 50 millimeter later on in the instructions. So that's a nice little call out. Um, you can go ahead and set the bolts up. And we need the smaller ones right here. Um, very easy call out, don't use the bigger the bigger ones, those are the 50s, we'll use them later in the process. So we can go ahead and hand tighten for the start of this. Again, you'll want to make sure to tape everything. Well, this assembly part goes pretty fast. As a general rule, you won't be doing this every single time, so it's really not that big of a deal. Go ahead, make sure those are nice and secure in there. All right, perfect. First part, done. Good job, guys. So we'll go ahead and just set this off to the side for now. Now we're gonna go ahead and build out the wing set and fuselage. So we'll go ahead pull out our fuselage here. We'll get our rear wing. And then we have our front wing up here. With these foil setups, 
they do include the covers, um, a front and a rear wing cover. These are really nice. Uh, previous generations had a larger cover that fit over the entire apparatus. Um, I kind of like the precision fit of these stretchy neoprene covers. Um, they're a little bit more padded and they're far less bulky. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and install the rear wing now. So we're gonna take our fuselage, our rear shim, and our rear wing. One of the easiest things to do is start by lining up the rear wing on the shim. You'll notice there's a little cutout down here um, that matches a raised edge here. So once those lock into place, you are good. We are now going to take our M6 bolts and we can start by pushing these right on through. We're gonna then go ahead, line them up here on the actual fuselage. And this is just an easy way to make sure everything's lined up properly. We're gonna go ahead, then take our little wrench and go ahead and tighten these bad boys down. On some of the larger wing sets that Slingshot offers, uh, namely the 86 and 99, the rear wing is actually going to mount to the underside of the fuselage. Um, and that is to counteract some of the drag you're gonna get from those larger front wings. Um, so the Slingshot setup is incredibly interchangeable, but if you are going with a wing in the 86 or 99 range, um, you will need to get the larger rear stabilizer. This is the 42, the larger is going to be the 48. So you can see we're locked in here, nice and secure. Again, make sure you're taping everything as you're putting this on. Give it a few good torques to make sure it is really in there. Um, and even if you're not a disassembling every session, I would recommend that you check the hardware. There can be vibrations um, and it does sometimes back out and loosen up. So you always wanna make sure um, that that's locked in nice and tight. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to pop the front wing on. We're gonna unzip. Again, it's elastic, so you're gonna give it a little bit of a yank. Flip it over. You can tell the top because it has the name of the wing right on it. And this part is really easy. You're just gonna go ahead, slide that in. So this is where you're gonna decide what mounting position you want, either the A or the B mounting position. If you use the B, then your mast is going to mount back here and you're going to put the cap in here. Otherwise, if you're using the A, the mast is gonna slide in right there. There's no cap needed for the B position. Okay, so now we have the A and the B mounting positions. Um, this is just gonna impact how the foil rides depending on where you put it uh, in relation to your stance on the board. We generally use the A position. Um, also, because we're not using the B position, we're not gonna use these M8 um, by 50 millimeter bolts as well. Um, so we're gonna set those off to the side. So we're gonna flip this over. And first things first, we are going to take our last little set bolt and we're gonna go ahead and secure the front wing to the fuselage. So we can go ahead and just tighten this on down. Easy peasy, we're nice and locked in. All right, we're nearing the very final steps of assembly. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and mount our wing set to our mast. So what we're gonna do then is slide this right on in here. Um, and I recommend generally just doing this right on the floor. Um, it gives you a really good anchor point. Um, and you'll wanna put your front hand up here to keep this stabilized. This is where we're gonna take these big long bolts. And I recommend getting one in there right away to get that nice and locked in. Now this isn't gonna be falling off. I'm gonna twist this down a little bit more so the front wing isn't floating freely. Now we can bring this down. So we'll go ahead, tighten these down. You wanna make sure they're nice and flush. Um, they're not sticking out at all. We'll go ahead, turn it over, and you have your foil assembled. 
So just to review a couple quick uh, things that we discussed earlier in the video, again, make sure to take your foil apart every couple sessions, um, retape if necessary, clean it out, flush it with fresh water. Um, you don't want that corrosion to build up there and seize up the hardware. Um, also, after every session, um, keep your wrenches with you, go through and just any kind of visible bolts, give them a couple turns um, and make sure they're properly locked in there. Um, when you are hauling your foil around, I recommend popping the covers on. This rear wing on just like that. Go ahead. So this is going to prevent you from dinging this big, beautiful front and rear wing. Okay, as you pop your front cover on, you're gonna notice the big slice right here. That's to accommodate the mast in the A position. Um, so even though the writing is on the underside, you are going to mount it upside down so it properly fits. All right, there you go. You guys are in business. Um, a very last thought, I would recommend going through this hardware guide. Um, and if you are gonna be traveling at all, um, you're gonna be in an area where, I don't know, it's not easy to get hardware um, or in touch with somebody or receive any packages. It's not the worst idea to order up an extra set of each piece of hardware. Um, in the event something does seize up or need maintenance, um, you got some spare hardware ready and raring to go to, you have some spare hardware ready and raring to go. And you can go ahead and just store everything right here in your travel case. It's an easy reminder for where everything is. Guys, thanks for checking us out. This has been How to Assemble Your Foil.